Hi, this is Mike Monian here, founder of B2B Insider. So today I just want to make a very quick video for you about the new LinkedIn connection request restrictions, uh, what they are, uh, how to get around them if you've been relying too heavily on automation up to this point. Uh, and we're going to dive into the solution or workaround if your marketing strategy is being uh, heavily impacted by this and you are relying too heavily on uh, automation to begin with. So let's uh, dive right into the solution. So what are the new LinkedIn connection request restrictions uh, in the first place? So as many of you probably already know, uh, LinkedIn is limiting the number of connection requests that can be sent from an account. Um, and you should have Sales Navigator by now because LinkedIn just tends to be much more lenient with paid accounts, to be quite frank. Um, but they're limiting the number of connection requests you can send out to 100 per week. Um, anything more than that is now officially considered spam by LinkedIn and risk getting your account banned. Uh, and we agree. Um, the problem is with the strategy is not the strategy itself uh, using automated connection requests, but where they were uh, using the automated connection requests in relation to the full buyer journey. So let me explain what I mean. Uh, most companies use this as a top of funnel uh, approach, which is the opposite way everyone should have been doing this in the first place. It's not a volume approach. So the solution is to insert them lower or deeper down the buyer journey where there's less volume, the targeted prospects are higher, and then combine that with an omni-channel approach. So essentially, you're moving your connection requests further down the buyer journey. It should never be your top of funnel strategy in the first place because your top of funnel strategy is where you need volume. So the only way you're going to connect uh, this way, you're going to connect with your top prospects who have already engaged with your content. Uh, your acceptance rate goes through the roof, you know, 70 to 80 percent. Uh, the ignore clicks or the I don't know this person clicks uh, that get your account flagged drastically go down because if the messaging is relevant, now we know the targeting is relevant. If you can align the messaging with that specific uh, layer of the full buyer journey, uh, you're um, going to add more value to a smaller, more targeted audience and use a sniper approach. So just to give you a visual here, before the restrictions, you know, lead generation companies and most marketing agencies um, that we saw who are using automated connection requests as a primary service, uh, we're using it as just top of funnel, spray up, pay, send out 300 connection requests a day, see what comes back. Um, it hurts the client's brand reputation. There's a million things wrong with that. So now they just can't do that. So you see all these companies scrambling because they don't understand how to properly build a buyer journey and now they're stuck because their only service has now been capped and their only service relied heavily on volume but to get around this what you need to do is you need to move those connections further down the funnel right before uh, a high conversion uh, event takes place like a purchase, you know, they pay the invoice, whatever it is, those connection requests should be going out to a much smaller audience, uh, a much more targeted group. And that way your acceptance rate goes to the roof. Your response rates are now much more thoughtful and you're staying under the new, uh, hundred, uh, a week, uh, connection request limit. So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and the rest of the blog posts. And if you want to get in touch with my team or I clicked on the get in touch, uh, buttons or contact buttons uh, below and uh, we'll see you on the other side.